Hi everyone, how's everybody doing? Remember this guy? Uh, maybe not a good picture. How about this one? Yes, much better, sharper, right? Still don't ring a bell? How about this one? Let me just show you a video. Yes, that is Jerry Yang, the World Series of Poker winner in 2007. A little over 10 years ago. Also known as The Shadow. He's multi-talented, wrote his own book, All In. Not just that, he has a hidden talent that a lot of you guys don't know. And today, we're gonna go meet up with him. Hi guys, this is Trapeek with Peak Adventures. Today we're here at our show booth. We have been invited to sit down with somebody really, really popular or famous. And he has invited me and my team to sit down to eat with him today some yummy sushi, and some of his special dish. I want to invite you guys all to come watch us, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Come on, let's go eat, I'm hungry. It's the, the five of us, so I think it should be okay. Hello. Jerry Yang. Jerry Yang, World <laughs> Series Poker winner, 2007. I remember watching that night when you were uh, about to win. I, I can feel that adrenaline, the excitement, and I can almost feel victory when you're just, you're, I hear you were praying, you know, I hear you were uh, talking to yourself and talking. Um, Talking to God. To basically. God, yes. Absolutely. And, and I, I feel that goosebump on me. Mm -hmm. And now I'm sitting right next to this guy that, uh, <laughs> in the, that whole episode that we were, the whole world was watching at the time. And, yes. And it was just such a exciting feeling knowing that uh, one of my brothers mm -hmm. is in this competition, this this world champion, and he's gonna he's about to win. He's seconds away from winning. Not all about the money too, but it's about the the, the journey that you went through. Absolutely, uh, yes. the people you represent, mm -hmm. uh, who you are, what culture you came from. Now we're sitting at your restaurant, and I didn't know you you know how to cook. I didn't know you you know how to put <laughs> food together until I heard like, oh yeah, Jerry Yang has a restaurant in Merced, and now he has a restaurant in Fresno. We came from Thailand, we landed in Nashville, Tennessee, uh -huh. and then living there for about a year, we moved to Kansas City, 1983, my father took us to Fresno, so we have been living in Fresno ever since, wow. 1983. However, I kind of, after graduating from high school, uh, I went away to San Francisco, I, uh -huh. I did my undergrad study over there. Uh, after graduating from college, I went to grad school in Southern California. Mm -hmm. And then after finishing grad school, I just kind of got married, uh, started a job, and lived there until like 2007 when I won the World Series of Poker, and then that's when I moved my family back to Fresno. Well, congratulations on your success, and especially opening up this restaurant in Fresno. Now I'm excited to try your food, your style. Yeah. Uh, you know, everybody has their own touch, their own, their own masterpiece to Absolutely. it. And I'm sure yeah, you yeah. created this masterpiece for each dish. To me, it's all about Number one is your passion. Right. You gotta have the passion. In any field that you go into, if you don't have the passion, it's not gonna last very long. But when it comes to food, to me, it's all about three things. Uh -huh. Number one is freshness. Mm -hmm. Number two is presentation. Uh -huh. And then number three, obviously, is customer service. Right. You know, the experience, people don't come into just to try the food, right. they want to experience. Yeah, and I want to. I want them to live that experience, not just necessarily tasting my food. Yes, which I know is good, but uh -huh. I want them to be able to leave the restaurant and saying, "Wow, that was a great experience that I had." This is the challenge bowl. Challenge uh, bowl. It's a ramen bowl, and uh, it's got chicken. It's got all the veggies. Uh, it has five different levels of spiciness in there. Uh huh. It's mild, uh, actually regular, mild, hot. 
very hot and then crazy hot. Oh, okay. So if you like it so, so hot, you gotta go for the crazy one. Okay. Yeah. So you just challenge yourself and you, you can eat it. You challenge yourself. Okay. You don't challenge the restaurant. You, you challenge, don't challenge Okay, okay. That's what I'm saying. Like, who am I challenging? Because I'm, I'm ready to take on you, Jerry. <laughs> no, I have people that came into the restaurant and said, hey, if I eat, if I eat the level crazy hot and I can finish it, Will I eat it for free? I said no. It's not. <laughs> you just challenge yourself. Challenge. Yeah, uh, to see where your your spice level is Absolutely. at. Absolutely. Huh? Right? Yeah. yeah. Growing up, I was very very poor. I was always hungry, you know. So mm -hmm. I had this crazy idea. Someday, when I have enough money, I'm gonna own my own restaurant. I can eat anything I want, whenever mm -hmm. I want, whatever I want. Great story. <laughs> wow. And so my dream came true. You yes. know, after um, my win of the World Series of Poker, I became a world champion. I just decided to make that childhood dream come true, mm -hmm. and right, I did it. Right. And I love every every single day of it. Uh, but more than anything, I'm able to provide uh, jobs for the local community. Mm -hmm. But also for my children, they can see that hey, even though our father has a little bit of money, he is working hard. You know, right. He's not right. just being sitting around doing nothing. So, uh, in a sense, I think I am accomplishing a lot of uh, objectives not only for my children, uh, for my mom people, but for the general public, so right. uh, I, I love food. I'm happy that you share that story with me. Um, Thank you. And I'm sure many of us has grew up poor. Mm -hmm. and Absolutely. With you as, a, as an idol, as a big brother to all of mm -hmm. us, and we, we, we love to hear stories like that mm -hmm. because it gives all of us hope yeah. that someday we can get there too. Absolutely. You know, we work hard. How has the coronavirus affect you and your business? Um, big time. Mm -hmm. I opened this place in December 19, just before the COVID thing hit, and it's been bad ever since. Yeah. Uh, we had to shut down for a little bit, and we couldn't really do takeout and delivery, and that was bad. But then, recently they allow us to open up to 50% of our capacity. Oh, okay. So, okay. Uh, right now, as you can see, I have, I used to have like seven tables right here, and now I have four, you know what I mean? Right. So I cut down half. Same thing with the other side, mm -hmm. but it's better than just delivery and takeout, you know. Right. Yeah, it's something. You know, at least pays the bill, uh -huh. the rent, and maybe my employees. You know. Yeah. So Hopefully things will get back to normal. Yeah. Then. The hardest part is people are still afraid to step out to oh, absolutely. To, to come out and yes. eat. You know, I am very fortunate because I have, uh, even within that, with the short time that I have here at Shobu, I have uh, established some very good. Uh, rapport and also uh, relationships with my, with my community. So I have some loyal customers. Yeah. And they love my food. You know, yes. they, they literally like my food. So uh -huh. they, they keep coming back. They tell their friends. So even the, the, the takeout and the, uh, the call land stuff, uh, they kept coming. So that kind of sustained my business a little bit. So great. That's I wonderful. I very appreciative of that. Yeah, very great. Wow. That's a lot of noodles. That's more than pho. Mm, this is like an extra large bowl. That is a lot of noodles. I'm happy. I love noodles. A lot of veggies too. And I believe this is chicken. Mushrooms. Mm, that's perfect. When I eat noodle, I, I always have that thing where I don't have to worry about chewing so much. And this is perfect. Slurping is also a good sign that, the, that it's delicious. Maybe in America, Americans might think it's rude, but to us Asians, slurping is okay. Special thanks to Jerry Yang and Shobu for the delicious food. Next time when you need a quick lunch fix, get the bento box. It comes with a sushi roll, fresh veggie, deep fried veggie, fresh sashimi, and meat of choice, teriyaki chicken or beef. You can never go wrong with these three popular sushi roll, the Rolls Royce, Jerry Special, and the Special Shobu. All topped with a special sauce, tobiko, and green onion. And if you're a big noodle fan like me, get your tonkatsu ramen. Pork base topped with slice of roast pork, bean sprouts, spinach, sitake mushroom, fish cake, nori, and soft boiled egg. 
or if you're up for the challenge, get the ramen challenge. Spicy chili broth, cook with chicken vegetables, fish cake, served with your choice of spicy level. I dare you. If you are a papaya salad lover like me, get it on your next visit. It's peak approved. เนาะจองเจเนติกเตนนันจามองเชดาทองกันตูเทียนยอตอเตชเมกาเนาะกูรงเชียวนุนอ่าอ่าบราเดอร์เชอร์พีกเทียจอบราเดอร์สลัชเ